Welcome to this Myrtle Rutland Library instructional video. This video will focus on how to request books through Mobius. If you are a Three Rivers College faculty, staff, or student, you have the privilege of borrowing circulation books through Mobius Library. Mobius is a consortium of over 70 libraries. Please start at the TRC webpage www.trcc.edu. Look towards the top of the screen. Look where it says ARC slash library. Click on this link to be taken to the Myrtle Rutland Library homepage. Once that page comes up, scroll down and on the left hand side of the page, click on Search Mobius. This will allow you to search the collections of all the Mobius libraries at one time. As always, there's many ways to search. The main ways that we use are keyword search, which means every word you type in the search box will be searched in the record of every item. We also use title search and author search. To use the author search, you would type in the last name of the author, comma, then the first name. For example, if you were looking for books just by Mark Twain, you would type in Twain, comma, Mark. If you are doing a keyword search, since there are millions of items in Mobius, you want to narrow your search as much as possible. Of course, if you're searching for a title, uh, that's very simple. You'd click on title search, type in the exact title you want, and it'll bring up just that book or books by that title. If you want just books by a certain author, of course, you type in the author's last name, comma, first name, and only books by that author will come up. But if you're doing a keyword search, there are two things you will want to remember to make your search more focused. First of all, if you're searching more than one word that you want to keep together in your search, such as a name like George Washington, or a topic like gun control, put these words within quotation marks. For example, if you do not put them in quotation marks, if you type in the name George Washington, it will look for every record in every library that has the word George or Washington in it. If you type George Washington within quotation marks, you are telling the online catalog only bring back those records that have the words George Washington side by side. Same thing for subjects such as gun control, sickle cell anemia, capital punishment. Put all of these within quotation marks to search those words as a group. Also, use the word and to narrow your search. For example, even if I put the term civil war in quotation marks, I would get back way too much material. The catalog does not know that you want to find items on the American Civil War. It will bring up any record that has the term Civil War in it, even if it's talking about a Russian Civil War, Chinese Civil War. If I was doing a term such as Civil War and I put it in quotation marks, I would also use the word and to narrow my search. For example, I might do Civil War in quotation marks and the word battles. Or I might use the term Civil War in quotation marks and, then also in quotation marks, Abraham Lincoln. So remember to use quotation marks and the word and to narrow your search. Now, let's order a book. I am going to do something very simple for the sake of illustration. I'm going to type in the name of an actor, John Wayne. Now I have to be careful here because there's also a serial killer named John Wayne Gacy that would like to come up. So I'm going to do John Wayne in quotation marks and I'm going to do actor, and I am going to submit my search. Now, when the results come back, it will tell you the very far left-hand column if it's a book, a DVD, or some other type of material. Mobius will only let you borrow books. Now, not all books circulate. So how do you know if you found a book if you can borrow it? Well, let's try to order a book. Let's go down and we will look at item number 16, My Rodeo Years, Memoir of a Bronc Rider's Path to Hollywood Fame. Let's click on the title. Let's do not request it yet because we don't know if it circulates. Click on the title to bring up the entire record. And here we see why this record came up. It found the term John Wayne and the word actor in the record. And below the record is a complete table of contents for this book. Now how do I know if I can borrow this book? In the middle of the record, look for the big red or maroon check mark 
where it says request. Below this, it will show you how many libraries within Mobius have a copy of the book, and under status on the very far right hand side, it will tell you if you can borrow the book. Now if it said not requestable or unavailable or does not circulate, then you cannot borrow the book. But as long as one of the libraries in the list says available, you can order the book. The book we're looking at currently is in two libraries. And lucky for us, both of the libraries say the book is available. Now whether the book is in one library or 70 plus libraries, you do not have to worry about where it comes from. When you request the book, Mobius will pick which library to send it to you. So how do I order this book? First of all, simply click on Request. Now, there are 70 plus libraries within the Mobius system. They have divided these libraries into clusters. This is very important. You belong to a specific cluster within Mobius. So the first thing you have to tell the system is, you belong to the Mobius cluster Galahad. So to order this book, tell them you belong to Galahad. And Galahad cluster is Three Rivers College, Southeast Missouri State, and Mental Area. So submit the above information, and now all you have to do in this box where it says your name, type in your first and last name just like it is on your TRC ID card. I say that because if your name is William Smith, but everybody calls you Bill, you can't type in Bill Smith if your ID card says William. Same for the lady, if your name is Elizabeth Smith, but you go by Beth or Betty, you can't type in Betty Smith if your ID card says Elizabeth. So type in your first and last name just like it is on your ID card. Now, on the next line down where it says type in your ID number plus your campus code. Again, Mental Area is part of the, the cluster, as is SEMO and Three Rivers College. Your ID number must be exactly seven digits long. So if you look on your student ID card and your ID number is less than seven digits, for example, mine is four digits long, I have to type in three zeros plus the rest of my number to equal seven. And then after I type in that seven digit number, I type in TRCC at the end. Lower case is fine. So once again, on the top box, your first and last name, just like it is on your faculty, staff, or student ID. Then the second box, your complete seven digit TRC ID number plus TRCC. And then one last thing to do, pick up location. 90% of all the people who order books want them delivered right here to our library. But if you take classes at the Dexter Center, the Kennett Center, etc., you can request the books to be sent there. Now here's the difference. For all the people who request the book to be delivered right here to Myrtle Rutten Library, we will not check out that book until the day you come in and show your picture ID to us and you'll get a full four week checkout. If we have to send this item to one of the off-campus centers, we will have to check out the book here at the library, send it over to our mail room, and they'll get it to the right person to take it to your off-campus center. So 90% of all people ask for the book to be picked up right here at Three Rivers Library. We will send you an email when your books come in, and you'll have 14 days to pick them up. Once you have selected a pickup location, click on Submit. When you click on submit, it will come back and tell you that your request for the book was successful or no, it did not work. Now, if it did not work, nine times out of 10, the problem is that the person either didn't fill in a complete seven digit ID number or they forgot to put TRCC at the end. If you have any trouble ordering books through Mobius Library, please contact the library in person, by phone, by text or by email. Thank you.